Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at web jobs, which is right here under settings. Web jobs are background processes or background tasks that run on the same virtual machines that are hosting your applications. Creating a web job is super simple. You just click on add, give it a name, upload the file here and this file can be a program, and by that I mean an executable with all the dependencies and all the DLL files, or it can be a simple uh, script file, like a Python file. In our sample project, we have a console application called WebJob. It's a very simple console application that prints only three lines to the console. This is the output of the project. I have zipped it up here and I'm going to upload it into Azure and I'm going to use this package as my source for the web job that I'm going to create. The next option is type. We have triggered and we have continuous. Continuous means that your program or your script is going to run constantly. Usually the way it works is that the code is implemented inside of an infinite loop. If it stops, you can again start it and uh, have it run constantly. Here actually already we have a continuous web job. It is created when we added application insights to our app services and it's the profiler for the application insights. We are going to create a triggered web job. The next option is triggers. So you can have it um, scheduled or you can execute it manually and trigger it manually. We're going to use the scheduled. Using a cron expression, you can tell Azure how and when exactly you want to execute your background process. For example, I want my task to run every two minutes, and the cron expression for that is this. If you don't know how to come up with the expression that you're looking for, you can just Google it. And if you don't find the exact code, you will find uh, something similar that you can modify and come up with uh, the one that you're looking for. Okay, now my web job is added and if I click on refresh, I can see it on the list. Refresh again, it's right here. As you can see, we have a warning at the top of the page saying cron web jobs require always on to be enabled on your application. And the reason is that app services can go to sleep after 20 minutes of an activity and if they go to sleep, your background processes won't run properly. So let's go and uh, to the configuration and change the setting and enable always on. So under configuration, under general settings, we can enable the always on feature here. Save, continue. And now we can go back to web jobs. So if I want to run my task manually, if I want to trigger it manually, I can just select it and click on run. Actually, let's do it. The status changed to running. And if I wait for a few more seconds, uh, the execution will be completed. As you can see here, it says completed a few seconds ago. If I click on it and click on log, it will open up a new tab where I can see the history of all the runs. So I have two, and if I click on um, each one of them, I can see the output. So the three lines that my console app um, 
prints to the output are here. We can see that my console app ran successfully. And you can see the history of all the other um, runs. Now, let's do the same thing, but this time, let's use a Python script. I also have a Python script that does pretty much the same thing. It just prints three lines of information with the same context. It just says Python script started running and finished running. So let's use this file and create another web job. Let's execute it. And let's go to the logs. Uh, as you saw, it is much faster than the program because it's very lightweight. If I click on it, I can see the output exactly same as before. It just starts with Python script instead of web job. One more thing that I would like to show to you is that if you have multiple instances up and running, then you will have the option to have your task run on one instance or all the instances. So I'm going to manually scale out to three instances. And then I'm going to I'm going back to web jobs and I'm going to create a new web job just to show you the option there. Let's go and delete the two web jobs I created. And now let's create a new one. Here right away you can see that we have a new option called scale. And it only applies when you choose continuous. If you choose triggered and if you want to schedule your task, you won't have that option. Your task will only be deployed to one instance. But if you choose continuous, you will have the option to choose multi-instance or single instance. So that was it. Hope you learned something new today.